When I started this music program, uh, this was uh, triggered by the fact that there were too many little souls running around the streets and till late at night with nothing to do. Now, I started from a church called St. Andrew's Anglican Church. It's a, it's a very small church. Uh, when I went there, I asked the priest if I could start with his kids. So then he said, OK, fine, I'll give you 20. And uh, I said, OK, I'll, I'll see you next week. And when I got there, uh, to my surprise, there were 60 kids. <laughs> so now, today, uh, we now teach over 350 kids in and around um, uh, Soweto. Now, social challenges like uh, poverty, crime, alcohol and drug abuse, uh, early teenage pregnancy, and early teenage uh, death as well, um, have all, uh, and you know, neglect as well, have always been and still continue uh, to challenge and threaten youth development within our community. So now, um, when, when, I, when, 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 when I started this music program, you, you know that you're going to meet so many children, and most of them uh, will will challenge you. you. This is where you're going to meet all the troubled souls. Uh, and with that, I just mean that with all the challenges that I've just mentioned, uh, you'll meet kids who have troubled uh, with drugs or alcohol or whatever it may be, uh, social challenges or from their backgrounds at home. And uh, the one case where I was really shocked I, when I met a young boy one day to, at, the, at the age of 12, who was drunk, and he came for a lesson, and he was, he was drunk, and I thought, God, what am I going to do about this? Um, but uh, with, with time, with time and with care, um, eventually the child was able to, to understand, although that took about um, four to five years to try and tackle such an issue. Uh, now we're talking about a child who's now at university in Cape Town studying music. Um, then, you know, last week, or no, sorry, not last week, but a, a couple of months ago, um, we've just had a former student and a teacher within our music program uh, who just died, who committed suicide. Um, and that it took a big toll on me because he was a very talented young person, highly gifted. Uh, he would do anything that you ask him to do. You would give him a piece of uh, a, st a stone, he would make something beautiful out of it. But the problem with him is that he would come back and then just destroy it again. That's how he was. He made something beautiful and come back and then destroy it again. But it's not until later that uh, when I said I got an opportunity to sit with a psychologist and a psychiatrist that we studied uh, his behaviors and uh, only to find out that with all the things that I mentioned, he, there was a possibility that he had a, a bipolar. Um, and we didn't even know about it. We didn't even know that the, the, there could be such a sickness, there could be such a problem in a person that could be solved, because obviously he had um, chemical problems in his brain. Now, then I sit and wonder that how many kids that happened to them? A child who, who starts al um, alcohol at the age of 12. Obviously, this was a child who was troubled and they had to find a way to escape whatever problems they had, whether it's at home or whether it's at school or wherever it is, so that we, at least we were able, we were able to, walk, to walk with them uh, and see them through whatever they're going through in their lives. Now, it was just a pity with Mpumi that he died uh, before we could even help him. So with these little souls that come into your life, you learn quite a lot. You learn that you know, we, now we have to do things differently. We have to look after them differently. Uh, we have to nurture them differently. We cannot always be doing things in the same way. For us to change the situations that we're in, we need to change the way we think. Now, um, melodic music, because of what happens and all the challenges that they face in their lives, I am glad that melodic music is there because now melody music has now become a zone where they can come and experience that flow of power through music. Because now music connects them to their souls and brings them into a state that brings forth 
their gifts and talents and full expressions of themselves. Now, Melody has now become a platform where they can come and share their talents, where they can come and express themselves without being judged. So through the music, we're now working the inequalities, that the cultural inequalities that they are facing through their lives. The power of music helps them to share their shame and brings them into a state of power so that they can connect to the soul where there is lots of pain, but buried treasure as well. Thank you. 